Hi, I'm Anka and this is the place to be to hear about the latest tech trends in healthcare. On October 28th, 2021, Mark Zuckerberg introduced Meta, Facebook's new brand name. As stated on the company's website, Meta's focus will be to bring the metaverse to life and help people connect, find communities, and grow businesses. Hold on a second. The Meta what? The next platform and medium will be even more immersive, an embodied internet where you're in the experience, not just looking at it. And we call this the metaverse. And you're going to be able to do almost anything you can imagine. Get together with friends and family, work, learn, play, shop, create, as well as entirely new categories that don't really fit how we think about computers or phones today. What exactly is the metaverse? What does it mean for healthcare? And is it way too early for us to care? Welcome to today's video. Fun fact, the other day I was watching James Cameron's movie Avatar. If you don't know, it is the story of paraplegic marine Jake Sully, who decides to take part in a mission on a distant world of Pandora. But because the planet's environment is poisonous, humans need to transfer their consciousness into avatars that explore this new world. Now, while watching the movie, I couldn't help but wonder if this is what the famous metaverse will look like. You know, this parallel world that we can create and explore as avatars. So I started looking into it and my intuition wasn't very far from the truth. The first thing you need to know is that the metaverse is still under construction. You know, you have all these different companies across the globe, like Meta and Microsoft, that are laying the first stones, but we still have such a long way to go. As such, there's no precise and commonly agreed upon definition of what the metaverse is and what it can become. You know, it's really similar to the very early days of the internet where one could grasp the potential but couldn't really describe precisely what it would look like in upcoming years. In fact, many consider that the metaverse is Web 3.0 or the logical evolution of the internet that we know today. Now, according to the people working on this field, the metaverse can be envisioned as an online virtual world that sort of evolves in parallel to our real physical world. In the metaverse, people are represented by their avatars and they benefit from services really similar to those that we have in the real world. Things like entertainment and shopping and social interactions and work and financial services and of course, health services. Now, to access this famous metaverse, you can either go to websites uh, like Decentraland or use apps that are available with your AR or VR glasses such as Meta's Oculus. Now, depending on the platform or the app that you use, you will have access to very different services. For now, most of these services are focused on virtual interactions with fellow avatars entertainment and a lot of gaming. But it is safe to bet that in the near future, these services will extend to encompass pretty much most of the things that we already have in the physical world, including healthcare. So what health services will be available inside the metaverse? Fitness and well-being services are already available in the VR and the metaverse. Now, imagine you want to work out with a friend that lives on another continent. Now, today you would probably, you know, meet up on Zoom and follow a YouTube workout by sharing your screen. Not ideal. But you can also both put on your VR headset, enter a virtual gym along with other participants from across the world and follow the live class of a famous coach. Now, I don't know about you, but this second alternative sounds a lot more exciting to me. In fact, if you have ever used a VR headset, you quickly realize that most of the games have you moving quite a bit, increasing really drastically the amount of physical activity that you do every day. Another very 
appreciated metaverse service is meditation. Now, imagine you have always wanted to experience meditation in a Buddhist temple alongside a monk. Again, not something you can easily do in real life, but definitely something that can be recreated in the metaverse, where you can meditate in immersive environments surrounded by others. Augmented reality and virtual reality are already used to train medical students and doctors all over the world. So the metaverse is just a logical continuation. Now imagine entering a virtual class and you see a renowned surgeon trained for a very complex procedure on a 3D replica of a patient. This is not something you can easily do in real life. And it is not science fiction. Medicine and surgery classes are already taking place in the metaverse. The metaverse can also be a great place to play and learn. Serious games can reach a whole other level if they take place in the metaverse. Participants will be able to entirely immerse themselves in new and realistic environments and experience a situation as if it took place in their real life. Just as you use telemedicine today to connect to your health professionals, you will soon be able to schedule a medical appointment directly inside the metaverse. In fact, there's this Canadian company called Revitalist that announced in November 2021 that they are developing a virtual clinic in the metaverse that is called Revitaland. Their goal is to allow patients to attend mental health sessions with, of course, qualified professionals in a virtual environment. Revitaland also includes its own cryptocurrency and NFTs, but this is something we will discuss in a future video. In the near future, doctors will welcome you inside their virtual offices and pharmacists will deliver your treatment inside a virtual pharmacy. You will meet patients from all over the world that suffer from the same condition as you. They will become your online community that almost feels real. Of course, this fully virtual world can seem a bit scary and there are a lot of challenges that need to be overcome. But let's be honest, it is really exciting too. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you next time.